Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today is laundry day, but not the type of laundry that we're used to doing. Today we're going to be looking at cleaning our mats. Now there are a number of ways that you can look to do this. I know lots of people have got different recommendations, but I'm going to show you what I think is the absolute easiest. So make sure you stick around to see how I go about that. If you don't know who I am, my name is Paul, Scissors Paper Paul on Instagram, Facebook and on YouTube, and I'm here to share my cricket knowledge and expertise with you so you can master these incredible machines and products and ultimately I want you to make beautiful things. As always if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Also make sure you stick around to the very end because I'm going to tell you how you could win your very own Cricut Maker. So make sure you hang around for that. Let's get started. One thing I just wanted to mention quickly as well is this works great on your blue green and purple mats, but I would not recommend washing your fabric mats. So use tweezers, don't manhandle these mats with your fingers and the oils, etc., will impact the adhesive on these mats. What you wanna do is just remove any threads that were leave left behind once uh, you've done your cutting. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is remove our covers. And the way that I like to test if uh, they're sticky or not is by putting the palm of my hand and seeing if it's going to lift up and you'll see what I mean after we've done the cleaning. Okay so what are we going to need today? Uh, a couple of things, super simple, you've got this already, uh, dishwashing detergent, it doesn't matter which one it is, you'll see in all the American videos everyone talk about Dawn, uh, I'm using Morning Fresh, I'm going to put that in with some nice warm soapy water. Also you want a non-scratch sponge, so it's got a scratchy side but a, a non-scratch sponge. The one that I'm using today is from Chucks but there are lots of different brands again just make sure it's a non-scratch one. First things first we need some warm soapy water. Super simple, off we go. A few drops of detergent. Make sure it gets nice and soapy. Get that nice and warming up, it's starting out cold. And uh, it's turning warm, so we'll fill that up. Brilliant, that's nice and warm. We don't need to fill up the entire sink. We are good to go. Super simple. We're gonna take our mat and see that it's dirty. So they get dirty from cardstock debris, obviously your hands, any of the materials that you pop on them. And then we just want to submerge it in the water. Take our sponge and just start cleaning. So try and get as much off you can without the scour. And then when you think you need to, just go non scratch scour. Then with our non scratch scour, you just start cleaning any debris, any glitter, anything that's going to inhibit the adhering of the material. My mats nice and clean again you can see this one it's a little bit got a little bit of dirt on it. it doesn't have to be spotless but there's nothing that's going to impact the adhesion of products once these have drip dried so we just let them air dry and then we can come back and we can check the stick okay so great news my mats are now dry so remember we did that test earlier where I put my hand on the mat and try to lift it up and see if it's stuck and it didn't. Watch this. Nice and sticky. And of course, don't forget to put your covers back on.
Hi guys, so thanks for joining me in my kitchen today, a little bit rough and raw. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. If you've got any hot tips as well on how you clean your mats, by all means, pop them in the comments as well and share them with everyone else that's watching this video. But as promised, now I'm gonna tell you how you could potentially win one of two wonderful Cricut Maker bundles. So, here we go. I'm so excited that Harvey Norman is giving away two Cricut Maker bundles that are just packed with goodies. So good luck to you. The link is in the description. The competition is open until the 9th of May 2021. And make sure you read the terms and conditions because I'm pretty sure if you want to enter on behalf of your little E, that is totally fine. And the prize goes to their carer or their parent, which is you. So good luck. And if you win, I want to know. So make sure you uh, come back and let me know in the comments. As always, thanks so much for joining me. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.